Well, hello and welcome to Highway Kids Online. I'm so glad that you are here today. Great, it's so good that you're here, hello. Welcome if you're watching at home, or if you're watching at one of our Highway Church locations, hello. Welcome, we're gonna have so much fun today. Now today, we're continuing our series on the greatest Christmas gift, which is Jesus. Yes, he is, he's the greatest Christmas gift ever. So we're gonna keep learning about the story of Christmas, but before that, we have some praise, then we have a game, then we're gonna have a really, really cool skit, and then after that, we have our memory verse, Bible story, small preach, some worship, the sleepover chats with Jerry and Terry, and then we're gonna wrap it all up. It's gonna be awesome. So let's get straight into it right now. I need everyone standing up for me, standing up, standing up. All right, fantastic, standing up. Now touch your toes. Ah, oh, fantastic, we're warming up for praise. Stretch like this. Stretch like this, touch the skin, oh, that's so good. All right, oh, run the spot, run the spot. Fantastic, good job, everyone. It's now time to warm up our vocal cords like so. Now I want you to say the phrase, three wise men, as many times as you can within 10 seconds. And then at 10 second mark, do a big That, is that cool? All right, here we go, in three, two, one. Three wise men, 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 three wise men. All right, I think that we are ready to get into praise right now. I close my eyes and colors fly. There's no hiding from your grace. I can't deny. Your heart for mine And it's unreal and chase I was on the edge of deception Caught up in my own hesitation Until your love took over me So I let go And I let love Show me life like it's supposed to be On a way
brought to life when I met you. Reaching beyond the skies, running deep, stretching wide. Perfect love realized here with you. Come on now. Now the sun is for real, you will never let go. Alright, great job, praise you everyone, you just did a wonderful job. Well, it's now time to get into our game for today. Now, last week we played Musical Statue. Now, we're going to play the same game, but we're going to add a whole nother level to it. Which is going to make it ten times fun. Funner? Funner. Alright, so, right now we're going to play Musical Statues, but when we stop, I'm going to say a certain Christmas thing, and you need to then become that statue. So if I say you need to become a reindeer, then you need to make a thing in your head or like this. You need to then look like a reindeer. Now, if you have a friend there, you can form pairs of two to do this. So if you can say, I want to be a reindeer, someone can get down their legs and be the reindeer and someone else can be someone else. I don't know. So you can pair off if you want or you can play by yourself. Are you guys ready? When the music is on, we want to see you dancing. When we stop it, I tell you what you're going to become. All right, let's do this all together. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Now, if you're not standing up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. All right, here we go. First one. All right, let's play the music. Let's go. Stop, baby Jesus in the manger. Go, 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 go. Become baby Jesus in the manger. You can pretend to be baby Jesus. Someone can be the manger. Go, 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 go. 
five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay. Now, if they're leaders in the room, they can judge to see who is the best. If it's just, if you're at home with your parents, your parents can be like, good job, good job. All right, back up again and let's dance. And stop, become reindeers. Reindeers, 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 reindeers. All the reindeers. All right, five, four, you've only got quickly get together, go, 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 go. Three, two, one. All right. Once again, leaders can decide and parents can decide if you guys are perfect reindeers or not. Let's see. All right, everyone back up and let's get dancing again. Let's go. And stop. Christmas trees become Christmas trees. So maybe someone can be the decorations. Someone can be the Christmas tree. Go, 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 go. All right. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Leader can decide who's the best. Go, good stuff. And your parents, you can decide who's the best. Or who's your favorite. No, don't do that. All right, here we go. Back into it and let's go dancing, go. All right, stop. Become the stable with all the animals in it. Become some animals, maybe get some more people in your group. All right, go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. Or oh, stop. How does your stable look? Oh, fantastic. Great job. All right, last one. Last one, here we go. This is your moment to shine. You've got this. All right, here we go. Last one and dance. And stop, become presents, become the best present ever. Do it, do it. Oh, <laughs> well done, get your presents, get your presents, become presents. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Whoa, all right, leaders can decide who is the best gift in the entire room. Parents, you can also decide. Fantastic, great job everyone, fantastic. All right, coming and sitting back down for me. So you're ready for our next section, which is gonna be a lot of fun and you don't wanna miss out. So come sit down for me. Fantastic. Well, we have been going through some different skits over the last few weeks to tell us the big key. Last week with Mr. Eduardo, doing a very cool Christmas special with Fred. The week before that was, some, what was, oh yeah, it was the gift wrappers. They were really, really cool. And that's how we have another very special installment. So, sitting up and paying attention. I'm not gonna give away anything. Let's go straight into it, let's go. Oh no, I'm playing Mario and yeah. I keep falling down. I'll keep going, you'll get there. Okay. Hey, look, I'm doing it, look, look, look. I, I, I stopped watching. Okay, you gotta watch the TV, not me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on, we've got this, Jerry. Go, Jerry, go. Go, Jerry, go. Go, Jerry, go. Go, Jerry, go. Oh, no! Oh, I give up. It's all right, Jerry. Let me have a go. I'll show you. Okay. Okay. So you go, go try. You drive, drive, drive. Around the corner, around the corner. And you come up to jump, and you jump! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you keep going, driving, driving. I've got bananas. Ha. I put bananas on the road. Oh, yeah. Here comes the oak round corner, round corner, and the jump. Oh, yeah. That was incredible. Huh? Thank you, Jerry. Are you coming first? Oh, yeah. Can I have another turn? Okay. There you go. Okay, I think I've got this. Yeah. Okay. Oh god, round the corner, round the corner. The jump's coming up. Oh! Yep. Oh, 
Oh, how did you end up there? I don't know. I don't. I didn't think I it was possible. I didn't think you could end up in the cloud. Me neither. That's pretty scary. Yeah. I'll drive out of the cloud. Okay. Be careful, the people. Oh, oh. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, coming through. Oh, sorry, oh. Yoshi. Oh, Jerry. Oh, oh, Jerry. I just don't know why I'm not doing it right. I know all the controls. Yeah. And I know to look at the screen now. Yeah. But I keep just messing up. Well, you just gotta keep practicing, Jerry. Keep practicing and keep going. Okay. Okay. A cup of jelly. You got this. Ah. How long have we been playing? Well, according to my clock here, we've been playing for nine hours. Oh uh, no! And I'm no near better. I still don't be any good at this game. Whoa. That's not good, Jerry. Well, you know what, Jerry? What? You know what? Where's the key we can follow? A big key. A big key? Yeah. And the big key we can follow is we can trust God's plan. We can trust God's plan. We can trust God's plan. Is that just like in Mario Kart, how you should follow the track yep. and not land in the crowd? Yep. You should just follow the track. You stay on your track. And you keep going and you follow and you keep trusting that the track is going to take you to the end. And just like in Mario Kart, there's so many different tracks. So many different tracks. So many, like Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. I don't think I'm ready to try Rainbow Road. No, Jerry, I don't think you're ready yet. But there's so many well, tracks. There's so many. And they're like for all the different type of characters. All different type of characters. And does that mean that we have a different plan for our lives? Yep. And like you and me? Yep. God has a plan for each and every person and it's different for everyone. Wow. Yeah. That's a really cool. It is, eh? Yeah. Well, I'm starting to get tired. Yeah? We've been playing for nine hours. We have been playing for nine hours. <laughs> I think we can do it for a little bit more. Okay. How is my car on fire? What did you do, Jerry? What, what, what's Mario doing? He's putting out the fire. Oh, Mario's smart. Jerry and Terry are so funny. They are so cool. It's so cool to see what they do when they're hanging out together. They're playing video games. They're doing some really cool things. So. Great, fantastic. But they also taught us the big key today, which is we can trust in God's plan. Now, Jesus coming to earth and being born at Christmas is a huge part of God's plan, which is amazing. Well, there's several people that had to trust in God's plan, but we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second, guys. We'll get there. It's now time to learn our memory verse for today. And I've been loving this memory verse. It comes from 2 Corinthians 9 verse 15. And it says, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Now, it's really cool. Can you do this with me? All right, here we go. Fantastic. Everyone repeat this with me. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. 2 Corinthians 9, 15. Great job. Now, can you whisper it with me? Here we go. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. 2 Corinthians 9, 15. Oh, great job. All right, one more time. This time, we're going to say it in a very, very posh accent. Can you do it with me like this? All right, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. 2 Corinthians 9.15. Oh, great job, everyone. Fantastic. Give yourself a pat on the back. Well done. 
Well, it's now time for our Bible story for today. And we're gonna have another look at the story of Christmas, but this time, we're gonna to listen to it from a kid's perspective. Hmm, check it out. An angel came to see Mary. She was doing laundry, and then the angel just appeared and she was really scared. So Gabriel was like, Mary, you're gonna have, what? I can't, I can't say good. Mary, you're gonna have a baby. I, you're gonna have a baby and you will call him Jesus. And then Mary was like, I'm not gonna have a baby yet. I'm only a teenager and I'm not married. Then the angel Gabriel told Joseph that Mary is not lying. She, you are having a new baby. And so they met up. They went to Bethlehem, which was Joseph's old town. They ride a donkey. <laughs> I don't know. A camel. Oh yeah, a camel. She said, this donkey's fast. Well, they tried to go to a hotel and they asked the keeper um, for a place to stay. The keeper said, we have no rooms. Literally, no rooms. <laughs> so Mary and Joseph walked away sadly, but then he said, the only place in here in Bethlehem and that that you can stay stay is a staple and then he just pointed the way and they followed. When the shepherds were taking care of the sheep, then they saw angels. The angel said, a new baby is getting born who is king of the Jews. The angel were singing. And then the shepherd said, I think we should go there and meet him. The second, I think, said, yeah, I agree with you. And the other said, yeah, me too. They had to walk through a bunch of grass and bushes, maybe have to camp out a night. And then the wise men heard about it. And then a star appeared. We should probably follow that star. It's pointing down to the barn. So maybe we should follow it. Maybe. So the wise men went to Jesus. They gave them gifts. A stuffed animal, like a hippo one, to have at home. Some diapers, and <laughs> some wipes, and some milk, <laughs> some shoes, some Jordans. Gold, Frank, and Latimer. And I don't know how it would survive in that barn. Too stinky, too crowded, and ugh. I think he probably pooped because the room was very smelly. Thank you for coming. He's adorable. He's gonna be our best friend. I love you and you're the best baby I ever seen. There, I said it. <laughs> the new baby is gonna change the world. Wow, the Bible story today was so funny. That was so cool. Seeing little kids describe the story of the Bible and the story of Christmas was really cool. Now, the character we want to focus on in the Christmas story today is the story of Joseph. Now, we've heard the story of Joseph a few times over the last few weeks, but Joseph was the partner of Mary and became the husband of Mary and the father of Jesus, which is really cool. But you see, Joseph really had to trust God's plan. See, Mary suddenly becomes pregnant. He's like, what? What? And he had to figure out, like, oh, do I do what everyone else would have done and divorce her and like separate from her? Like, oh, she's, she's not with me. Or, or does he stay with her? Which was an unpopular choice at the time. Now, I'm not sure what I would have done, but Joseph was really confused. He didn't quite know what to do. And an angel came to Joseph and said, don't even worry about it, mate. Just stay with it. The baby is the son of God. So Joseph trusted in God's plan. And it turned out for the best because Jesus was the son of God and he saved the entire world. Joseph got to be his dad, which is so cool. You see, sometimes I find myself and we can find ourselves as like, God has a plan for us, but we're just not sure if we can trust him. But yes, we can. God is good and he's got so many incredible plans for your life. 
It's an amazing thing that God has plans for you and me. He cares and loves for each and every single one of us. And you, yes, you have a plan for your life. I just want to encourage us today. It's a very simple message, but let's trust God together. Especially going into next year and everything that can be. Some of you can be going into grade one for the first time, grade two, grade three. Some of you could be graduating soon, going into high school, which is incredible. Trust God that he has a plan for your life because he does. And trust that you're just going to keep following his step by step. He's speaking to each and every single one of us. And you just know that feeling when you're just following him, which is really cool. Well, right now, we're about to head into a time of worship. And I love worshiping God so much. And I encourage you to focus in right now and to press into what God wants for you. You can trust him and he is there for you. Now, we could just be singing a song, which is cool, but this song is to help us focus in and listen to what God is saying. So if you can stand up for me, stand up wherever you are, find a space in that room where you are to be your worship bubble, your space that you can worship God. I'm gonna quickly pray. Lord God, we love you and we thank you that you have a plan for our lives. Lord God, thank you that Joseph trusted you and thank you that we can trust you too. You're amazing, Lord, and we love you, and we just want to worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's worship together, guys. Within the arms of heaven, in the peace that lasts forever, sinking deep in mercy, see, I'm wide awake, drawing closer by grace and all. So 
Lord God, worshipping you is so good and it's never a waste of time because we love you so much. Thank you for everything you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Fantastic. You can now grab a seat, sit down, sit down wherever you are, just sit down and enjoy the next section, which is my personal favourite section of the entire uh, service that we used to do together. It's the sleepover chats with Jerry and Terry. Hey, Terry. Hey, Jerry. Huh, what a day. What a big day. We didn't do a lot. <laughs> we just played video games all day. All day. All day. I got pretty good at the end, didn't I? You did. Nice work, Jerry. I completed a full lap. Nice. And you didn't go in the crowd in that lap, eh? I didn't. You stayed on the track and followed the track. And you told me all about the big key. Oh, yeah. We can trust God's plan. Yeah. It's a good big key, isn't it? But, but Terry. Yeah, Jerry. I'm always thinking. Yeah. What, what, sometimes when I make a plan, mm. like, 
like yesterday, yeah. when we went to the beach, yeah. I am. I was making a plan that I'd build a like a, a massive a, a massive bridge. Yeah. Why I was building a massive bridge? I'd already built my sand castle, but I was going to build a massive bridge. But it didn't work out. It never worked, and the plan failed. You know what, Jerry? Yeah. See, God's plan never fails. Oh. Yeah, God never fails, and sometimes. Plans change just a little bit, oh. but that's because God wanted it to do that way. What happens if we do something wrong and like we walk away from God's plan? Well, don't worry. God can always bring you back on track. Even if you take a little detour, and God can put you back on the track. Wow. Yeah. They should bring that into Mario Kart because I was in the crowd a lot. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You yeah. should do that. Hey, Joey. Yeah, hey, Joey. Thanks for coming over. That's all right. I love sleepovers with you. Yeah. It's fun. We have so much fun. Yeah. But hey, we still got two more. Two more nights. Two more nights. Two more nights. Yeah. Oh. It's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Yeah. Oh, I love Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? Um, I want a remote control plane. Where? Yeah. I think that'd be cool. That's really cool. What do you want, Jay? I want a big chocolate cake. Oh, I like chocolate cake. Too. Yeah. Imagine a big chocolate cake of a plane. Wow, do you think it would fly? Maybe. We could see. We could see. We could we could test it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Not till we. Good night, Jerry. Wow, guys, that was so cool. That was so awesome. I have loved today's service. It's awesome. We can trust God's plan. He's got a plan for you, and he's got a plan for me and we can trust it no matter what. Now, I want you to have the best week ever. We'll see you again really, really soon. Bye.